Hey guys, it's Anna, and today I've got an Excel tutorial for you. So I do have a sample spreadsheet here that's um, called Divide and Conquer. You may want to open the sample spreadsheet and follow along with me, um, or you can make your own. I have one column in this spreadsheet with some names listed, and I've got full names, so first and last name, together in the same column. I'm going to show you how to separate these out so that you've got first name in one column and then last name in another column. And then I'm also going to show you how you would combine those back together. So if you had a first name and a last name column, how would you make a column that has the full name in it? Um, so I'm going to show you both of those. So I'm going to start um, by selecting my list of names here. Um, and you, it doesn't matter. You can choose the, the heading here. It's going to just separate that out the same. Um, you know, you can fix it later, but select what it is that you want to separate. You're going to go to the data tab and choose text to columns. And you have two options here, delimited or fixed width. Um, fixed width I've never actually used. It's not very commonly used. So this would be if somebody has used the space bar multiple times so that all the last names are lined up in a row. Um, but you almost never see a need for that. So I'm going to choose delimited. And what delimited means is that there's some kind of character in between the items you want to separate. So it might be commas, it might be a space, it might be a tab, but some character is in between them. So in my first and last names here, I have a space in between. And even this person that has two names, there's a hyphen in between the two names, and then there's still a space between first and last. So this will work for this. So I'm going to do delimited and click next. Notice down here it's showing me a preview of the data, and it's showing right now all of it's in one column. Um, the default delimiter is tab, but remember I don't have tabs in between mine. I have spaces. So I'm going to uncheck tab and choose space. And notice how my little preview changed down here. So now it's putting two columns with the first name in the first column and the last name in the second column. And notice it also separated full, full name into two columns. That's fine. We can fix that later. So I'm going to click Next. Um, this is asking you if you want to change anything about how they're formatted when it's done. And I don't need to do that. So I'm going to click Finish. And I now have two columns, one with first name and one with last name. And I'm going to relabel them. All right, so um, I want to make my B column as wide as the names are. So I'm going to double click the border between B and C, and it's going to auto um, size this column. And I'll do the same thing to A because it's not as wide now. And now I'm going to show you if you wanted to add a full name column when you already have first and last name, how you would do that. So I'm going to type full name. I'm going to make column C auto width. And what you're going to do is you're going to use a formula called concatenate. Um, concatenate is a long word, but it basically just means like you're putting multiple items together into one. So um, we're going to start every formula by typing in equals on your keyboard. That signals Excel that a formula is coming. I'm going to start to type the word concatenate, concate. And um, once it pops up here and shows me concatenate as a suggestion, I can hit the tab key on my keyboard to select that. And it will go ahead and set it up for me. So now you can see I've got the equal sign. I've got the formula, the, the name of the command concatenate. And I've got an opening parentheses. And it's giving me a hint down here what concatenate does. So it can it concatenates or puts together multiple items and it's telling me what I'm going to do is put a list here of what items I want to put together with commas in between. So the first thing I want to put together is the first name and I'm going to click on the cell with the first name in it to select it. Then I'm going to put a comma and notice here it changed the bold to the next part. Um, so I'm going to list the next item I want. Now the next thing I want is a space between the two names. So I'm going to put um, per, um, quotation mark, a space on my keyboard and another quotation mark, and then a comma. 
And the third thing I want is the last name. So I'm going to select last name. And then I'm going to close parentheses to finish that formula. So look at the formula I've got. I'm going to put together the first name in A2, a space, and then the last name in B2. When I hit enter, I get the full name combined again. Okay. If I want to do that for my whole list, I can select the one I already did. Do you see the little tiny square at the corner, the bottom right corner here? I can drag that down. That fills my formula down and it um, changes the cell references. If you notice up here, it changes the cell references so that it matches the row that it's on. Okay. I could also, instead of dragging that down, I could double click that little square. It does the same thing, but that's especially helpful if you've got a long sheet with a lot of data in it and you don't want to drag all the way down to the bottom. You double click, it'll automatically go to the last row of data. Okay. So that's how I put my names back together using concatenate. You could also do it in a different format. Let's say I wanted last name first, okay? So this time I'm, I'm still going to do concatenate. I'm going to start with equals. I'm going to start to type concatenate. And when I see the suggestion highlighted blue, I'm going to hit tab to select it. Notice I've got my opening parentheses there, and I'm going to put what items I want to combine together separated by commas. So the first thing I want to combine is the last name. and I'll put a comma. And then typically when you do last name first, you do a comma and a space in between. Again, make sure you use the quotation marks for anything you're gonna type in. So I'll put comma, space, and then quotation marks. And then another, and notice here I'm on, that's my text two part. My text one is B2. My text two that I'm combining is the comma and the space. And then my text three, will be the first name, but I need a comma in between there. Now I'm on text three and I'm going to put the first name. Okay. Close parentheses to finish and hit enter to accept. And now I've got last name first with a comma and a space in between. And again, I can double click that square to fill down the whole column. So that is text to columns, which lets you separate items out into multiple columns, and concatenate, which allows you to put items, combine items back together in the same column. Let me know if you have any questions, guys. Thanks.